Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Gymtech GM9 Multical Suppressor. The GM9 is the latest in a line of uh, pistol specific or, or pistol centric cans from Gymtech. If you remember the Tundra and the multi mount can. Uh, the cool thing about the GM9 right off the bat is the fact that it's, uh, it's full auto rated, which for cans at an inception or pistol cans is somewhat rare. It's not unheard of, but it is something that I, I found necessarily appealing because you can easily take a pistol can and put it on a submachine gun. Um, obviously, you know you're gonna you're gonna use a solid like a multi mount as opposed to the the standard booster that you get with your handguns. Uh, but that alone is very appealing to have a full auto rated pistol can, even if you're never going to shoot the can at full auto, especially on a handgun. You know, there's not a whole lot of select fire or full auto handguns running around out there. Uh, and if you have one, um, then you probably have a full auto rated can for it if you shoot it suppressed. But uh, I said multi-cal, and the reason I bring that up is because you can also use this can with 300 blackout uh, after a certain barrel length. So I think it's 7.5 inches and longer, uh, which is pretty awesome if you're into 300 blackout. That gives you the option to have a 9mm can, and you can use that same can for your 300 blackout if you so choose. Getting into the specifications of the GM9, it's got a 1.25 inch diameter, uh, which is pretty much standard. Um, Another uh, interesting feature about the GM9, not necessarily interesting, it's, it's not unheard of, is it is, is user serviceable, which user serviceable cans have become more popular. Uh, and the fact that the sleeve removes from the front, which I found to be definitely easier than sleeves that remove from the back. Uh, one of the biggest reasons for a removable sleeve is it makes it user serviceable, which I said, but it also allows you to clean the can to prolong the life of the can. Um, while silencers or suppressors technically operate the same way or similar to the way that a muffler on a car does, um, the uh, debris that gets left in them is significantly more corrosive. Um, there's, there's a number of corrosive elements inside a gunpowder and when you shoot it, it, it does begin to erode the metal. So being able to make a can user serviceable in a lot of degrees is, is, uh, is definitely a benefit. Now for a low volume can, not necessarily that big of a deal if you have a can that's for you know precision rifle 308, 338, so on and so forth. But for a high volume can, especially on a handgun, you're probably gonna put more rounds through a handgun can uh, than you would necessarily a low volume can like a, a 308 or, or larger. So the ability for the can to be user serviceable is definitely a big plus. Uh, other features, um, uh, you can obviously change out the multi mounts and there's different boosters available and then you can swap it out and uh, made it to a nine millimeter submachine gun. Or like I said earlier, it can it is capable for 300 blackout. During the review process, I fired 2000 rounds for the GM9. I used a number of different handguns. Unfortunately, they were all Glocks because that's what I have. Uh, the only uh, the only 9mm I have that's not a Glock is my FNS, and I don't yet have a threaded barrel for that. Um, so it didn't get a lot of flavor as far as different brands are concerned. But my experience with pistol cans in the past has been that they can be notoriously finicky. Um, they can uh, have particular issues with guide rods, or they can have particular issues with ammo or booster power or things like that. Uh, one thing that I liked about the GM9 is it provides a significant amount of clearance in the event that you have a shorter threaded barrel so I don't have to worry as much about guide rod impact on the back of my booster during firing to cause malfunctions with the firearm. Uh, 2,000 rounds total um, fired through the GM9. And one thing I definitely noticed right off the bat is hearing attenuation. The can's pretty quiet. Um, it is not the quietest 9mm can I've ever heard. However, for the length, it's, it's probably up there in like the top 10. Uh, and you know, from suppressor reviews I've done in the past, I just want cans to be hearing safe in multiple conditions. This can, working outdoors as well as indoors and indoors in confined spaces, is extremely quiet. It's definitely hearing safe both on 115, what I'm going to use at the range uh, ammo, and shooting 147 plus P. Now, I wish I'd had the ability to, uh, to run this on select fire, but every, every round through it was fired from a handgun. Um, but I did do the burn down. I wanted to put, you know, 500 rounds of sustained fire through the can to see if I had one induce any kind of malfunctions, can related malfunctions, and two to see if the can could take that sustained rate of fire.
Obviously the, the burn down was successful. 500 rounds sustained. Um, I fired obviously as fast as I could. Uh, one problem I did identify, which is more user error than can error, is the fact that after 500 rounds, this sleeve is going to become somewhat resistant to removal. Um, and when I say somewhat, I mean facetious. It was very, very resistant to removal. Uh, I added some, some new beauty marks on this can by the way that I actually had to get the sleeve off, which was a pair of channel locks. Um, which, you know, that's cosmetic. I don't particularly care. You might. So just something to think about. If you are going to do a high rate of fire, I'd say over every 100 rounds, uh, before the can cools to ambient temperature, go ahead and get hands on the can and work that sleeve so the sleeve doesn't become carbon bound uh, to the G-Core inside. Overall impressions on the GM9, I like it a lot. Um, pistol cans by nature are cumbersome. One, because they add length to a handgun. They don't add a whole lot of weight, but they do add length, which does make the pistol a little bit less maneuverable. But they are situation specific, environment specific. The biggest problem I've had with suppressors in the past is the inability to holster the handgun efficiently. Uh, thank God for Armadillo Concealment and companies like that that make holsters that allow me to holster a suppressed handgun, which then makes the makes the situation much more useful. But you know, prior to those holsters existing, uh, if I was using, especially um, um, occupationally, using a suppressor for lights or you know whatever, uh, I usually had to find some kind of a guinea pouch or something like that that I could just stick it in my plate carrier, which isn't the most ideal solution. I like some degree of retention, even if there isn't like a level two or a level three degree of retention for a suppressed handgun. Now that those holsters exist, uh, I'm much more likely to um, to leave the suppressor on the handgun, situation or environment dependent. Uh, with the diameter of the can being pretty much standard, uh, I'm not a huge fan of suppressor sights. I did a video on that if, if you want to know why. Um, the can doesn't unduly obscure my sight picture or my ability to shoot. And just because it adds length to the pistol, it doesn't add a significant amount of weight that makes it cumbersome to shoot even at uh, higher rates of fire. Uh, after 2,000 plus rounds, both range ammo and 147, I also fired some 124 plus P just for fun. Um, it's got a it's got a very low signature, uh, really good sound attenuation. It does suppress sound to hearing safe levels in multiple conditions, not just outdoors on the range, but also indoors and in enclosed spaces. Um, I was using a building that was made out of uh, tin, brick, and, and steel, um, from small to very large cavernous echo chambers uh, size rooms, and uh, it worked great. Uh, I didn't ever feel like it was close to breaking that pain threshold, which is what a suppressor is supposed to do. Uh, signature reduction is nice. Uh, granted, the muzzle flash on a handgun generally isn't as bad as what you'd see on a rifle, uh, but I still appreciate a can that eliminates that muzzle flash to, to, a, to a high degree. Um, Maneuverability, obviously, like I said, the can doesn't weigh a whole lot. Uh, it's five ounces without the booster. You add the booster in, you're, you're just there over five ounces. Um, so... <sighs> If, if you need a pistol can, if you, are, you haven't already uh, picked up a 9mm can for your 9mm family of handguns, uh, a GM9 is an awesome choice. I really like what Jim Tech did with this can. I like the evolution that they've gone through from, from the Tundra and the Multimount to this particular can. Um, so I would definitely recommend this can to anyone who'd be interested in purchasing a 9mm uh, pistol can. I'm Eric Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.